Well, today we're going to see that how keyboard shortcuts work in Excel. Keyboard shortcuts provide a better way to manipulate and analyze the data in Excel. We are going to begin with some of the more commonly used keyboard shortcuts that include copy, cut, paste, save, and many more. Later on, we're going to move towards more complexer and rarer used keyboard shortcuts. Let's move towards the tutorial and see how it all works. This is me Arsalan and you're watching Growth Mindset. So for opening up the new workbook, we're going to press Ctrl key and N and it opens up the new workbook. Likewise, if you want to close it, we're going to press Ctrl and W key for closing the workbook. If I make the changes to my data set, for example, if I just make it Michael B and I want to save it, now I will press Ctrl and S key for saving my data. If you want to copy a portion of the data, I can just select the data, press Ctrl and C key and either I can press Ctrl V for pasting it or I can press Enter and it pastes the data. Likewise, if I want to undo the last task done, I can press Ctrl and Z key and it undoes the last task. And if I want to redo the last task, I can press Ctrl and Y key and it does the work for me. What if, if I want to move the data from one place to another, instead of copying, I can just select the data. I can press Ctrl and X for cutting the data. And now either I press Ctrl V for pasting or I can just press Enter and we can move the data from one place to another through cutting. If I want to navigate within the sheet, I can press tab and it moves one cell towards the right side of the existing cell. If I want to move within the table only, so I can select the table and I can press the tab key and it moves within the table. What if, if I want to move back, so I can press shift and tab key and it moves backward. If I want to navigate within the sheets, so I can press Ctrl and page down key so it moves towards the next sheet. And likewise, if I want to move backward, I can press Ctrl and page up and it takes me back. If I want to enter a comment in any cell, for example, if I want to enter a comment for this, I can press Shift and F2 and it gives me an option to edit or write a comment. So I can write any comment over here, salary for first quarter. And now we can see that we have a red triangle appearing over here, which shows that the cell contains the comment. If I keep my cursor over here, so it shows what comment I have written. If I want to create the table of my data set, so I can press Ctrl T or Ctrl L. It opens up the dialog box for creating the table. I press OK and it makes the table for me. If I want to enter the current time, I can press Ctrl Shift and Column and press Enter. So it gives me the time. Likewise, if I want to enter the current date, I will be pressing Ctrl and semicolon and press Enter and it gives me the current date. If I want the date and time in one cell, so I can just press Ctrl and the semicolon and then press spacebar for giving space and then press Shift, Ctrl and Column. So it gives me the time and date within one cell. Now I will be applying fill down command. This copies the content and format of above cell to the cell where the short key is being applied. So if I apply control D, so it copies from the cell above. But what if, if I want to copy multiple rows and I press control D, so it doesn't do the trick. So for that, I can just select multiple rows and then now I press control D, so it copies the information from the total row to the rows below. 
Next, if I want to apply the number format with the thousand separator up to two decimal places, so for that I will select all of the data over here and then I will press Control, Shift and exclamation mark and here I can see that it has done the trick for me. As we saw in the last example that once I press Control, Shift and exclamation mark, it gives me a thousand separator number formatting up to two decimal places. But what if instead of a minus sign, I want the figure to be appearing in bracket if it is in minus and the figure should appear in red with number formatting up to two decimal places with a dollar sign so for that i will press shift control and dollar sign and gives me the figure in red in bracket with a dollar sign in the number formatting up to two decimal places moving on here i want to have the percentages but figures are appearing in numbers so i select the data over here i press Control shift and percentage sign and it converts the numbers into percentage without any decimal places if i want to apply the scientific number format with two decimal places for that i will be pressing Control shift and raise to power keys so it gives me the result in the scientific number format If I want to select the whole worksheet for that, I can press Ctrl A or I can press Ctrl Shift and Spacebar and it will also have the same results. But what if, if I want to select the data set only so I can place my cursor anywhere in the data set and now I press Ctrl A so it selects the data set only. Now if you want to move to the next fill cell or at the end of the contiguous cell series, we can use Ctrl and the arrow keys. If I want to move around the outer edges of my data set. So so I can press control key and I want to move to the outer edge on the other side I will press right arrow key likewise if I want to go on the last row I can press control and down arrow key so it moves toward the edges of the data set now for example if I have any text over here so if I want to press control and left arrow key so it is going to skip the empty rows in between and it moves to the next fill cell and now again it is going to skip the cells in between and move to the next filled cells but if all the cells are filled in the series so it is going to move towards the last cell If your data set consists of thousands and thousands of rows or some data sets are even big enough to have millions of rows. So if you want to select all of your data set, so by pressing shift and down arrow key and then right arrow key can be a very tedious task. So for that, we can press control shift and right arrow key and control shift and down arrow key. So it selects the outer edges of your data set very quickly. Now we want to see that how we can start a new line in the same cell. For example, in the name cell, I want to write first name and the second name both in separate lines. So how is that possible? So let's see, I write first name and after that for starting a new line, I will press Alt and Enter and I write second name and I press Enter. And here we can see that we have two lines within one single cell. If I want to select the entire column, I can press Ctrl and Spacebar so it selects the entire column. Likewise, if I want to select the entire row, I can press Shift and Spacebar and it selects the entire row. If I want to add or remove the filter, I can press Ctrl, Shift and L and likewise if I want to finish the filters I can again press the same keyboard shortcut keys that is Shift, Ctrl and L and it removes the filter. Next moving on if I want to have the summation of this salary column and I can press Alt and equals to sign it selects the data range now I press enter and it has given me the total by applying a formula. If I want to copy this amount, so if I just press Ctrl C and press Enter, so now we can see that it is not selecting the right range. So I can hard code the figure. So once again, I go over here and copy it by pressing Ctrl C. Now I press Alt E, S and V and then press OK or Enter and it hard codes the figure. Now it doesn't contain any formula, but it has copied the figure perfectly. If I want to insert the default chart, so I will be selecting 
the columns from where I want to pick up the data and for that I will be pressing Alt F1 and it gives me the default chart. Next, I want to have the email ID for all my employees and for that I want to have the first name, second name and the email domain. And I want this to be done for all of the remaining rows with the first and the second name and then the domain name. But if you have thousands and thousands of rows, it is not going to be a very easy task. For that, Excel gives me an option. We can use the flash fill option and for that I will be using keyboard shortcut so for that i will press ctrl e and it copies down all of the email ids in the format that has been given in the first row so this is quite a bit artificial intelligence incorporated into excel if i want to insert the row or column i can press ctrl and plus key for inserting it and likewise if i press ctrl and minus key so it gives me an options for deleting the entire row or column but there is an easy way of doing it as we learned earlier if i press ctrl and spacebar so it selects the column for me so now if i press ctrl and plus key so it inserts the column while the entire column has been selected if i press ctrl and minus key so it removes the column likewise if i want to insert the row i will be selecting shift and spacebar for selecting entire row and now if i press ctrl and plus keys inserts the row if i press ctrl and minus key it deletes the row if i receive the file from somewhere and i want to check that whether it has some hidden rows and columns i can just press alt and semicolon and it shows me all these lines appearing over here that column b is hidden row number eight is hidden over here and row number 12 is hidden and now we're going to highlight cells without the formulas as we have been working on this sheet we know that over here we have the sum formula apart from that we don't have any formulas in this sheet but if you have the large data set and we want to highlight the cells without the formulas so for that you're going to press f5 then alt s and then l and x and then press ok or enter and here it shows that all of the cells that do not contain the formulas have been selected and only the cell b16 is not selected because it does contain a formula well that's it if you like the content then make sure that you hit like subscribe share and give your comments down below in the comment section your comments act as a navigation tool so make sure that you guide me through your comments thanks for joining me see you soon take care and bye bye